Hello everybody. I'm doing this very quick informal video here. I want to tell you all about my music and I'm super excited to be doing music right now because it is an easier form of communication for me than the flapping of the moving mouth parts, having to go through the intellect and translate everything in this way. So I found a way over the past couple of months to just have this very intuitive creative flow where I work with these sounds that are, it's a MIDI instrument, meaning it is a recording of an actual instrument. Like it could be uh, something like a string or, you know, a, a, whatever, a saxophone, something like that, a clarinet. And I can make my keyboard instrument down here sound like any of those instruments. And I also approach this as just noise making, where there are these programmed in synthetic sounds that are also equally interesting to me to use. Like when I did space flight, I was really a purist and I was only about like using these gongs and chimes and trying to be as um, analog as possible. But right now, like I, I've just been giving myself the creative freedom. It is much less of an investment in doing a song. If I hate it, I can delete parts of it. I can delete the whole thing. Very, very different than if I work on one of these painting panels where it's an investment in the creation of the actual panel and the drum, you don't wanna just mess it up and then be like, oh, I'll just throw it out the window. I give myself much more free license in the music and in all honesty, for a big part of the creation process of making a song, like I'm like, I hate it. Like I'm, a bit, I'm just gonna delete this, but like, how about I just add this one more thing and see if it gets better. And that's usually how I kind of get, get through those feelings of just not enjoying what it is. And eventually I come up with a recipe. Like I'm like, okay, this sounds bad, this sounds bad, this sounds bad, get rid of this. Um, it's also very different than working with a linear staff and a song that has like a melody that, you know, from start to finish, it's a different type of songwriting. Where I set up all these loops and these loops have to do with synchronization and time. So there's just really interesting things that you can relate to in terms of DNA, turning genes on, turning genes off, synchronizing things. It's, it's different than linear songwriting and a lot of my songs even don't have a melody even though they do have they are melodic they are harmonic but they don't necessarily have a melody where it's like oh yes and then i walked away whistling little tune like it's not like that it might be a little bit more challenging so i set up all of these loops some of which are analog instruments that i play some of which are totally digital weird sounds that i put together and then once i like what i'm hearing in terms of the the sonic texture of what i what i what i've got all these things playing at one time then I do a recording of it. So on this, I'm using Ableton Live. On this software here, you set up these different loops and then you press record, you end up getting an actual track, an actual song. But the way that I do it, I call it the kitchen sink. And again, this is totally intuitive. No one showed me to do this. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I just record everything. I record all of the instruments and that's different than orchestration where when you have like, sometimes you hear this instrument, but not everything else, you know, you, you, you make it so that it's accessible to the ear. What I learned in doing my visual artwork was that if I put every single line in there and made it super, super, super dense, it was even difficult to see like, what is going on in this painting? I can't even tell what's going on. Like you need visual breathing space where you don't have super dense overlapping lines. Same thing with the music. You need to be able to have um, parts where it's um, sparse, where you only hear a few of the instruments that are going and then parts that are more dense. And then of course have them rhythmically flow into each other and this is all part of the artistry of doing it. So I figured out that I, what I'm gonna do is create the whole entire song with all of the music playing all at the same time. And then what I can do is go back in like a sculptor and I can carve away. I can re re remove what I don't want from the recording because again, it's the beauty of the digital process here. So I do a lot of erasing and I'm like, nope, no drums here. We're going to erase. We're going to have a quiet part there. Nope, no strings here. We're going to erase that out. And I listen and I listen over and over obsessively. Like seriously, if you were in my house, you would probably be driven crazy because I listen to the same song over and over and over. But that's also part of the creative process and part of internalizing it. Because I'll tell you that in my, in my flow, like, you know, for the past month or so, sometimes I'm writing a song a day and it just goes very, very fast. And so it, listening over and over is one way of kind of like holding on to it, internalizing it, because then the next day it's a different song. And all of this is in response to the energetic weather of what's going on. And so I, I like that, just excuse me while I have a little drink. I like that I get to have a different song. 
Some days it might need to be more powerful, like more driving. Some days it might be very happy and lighthearted. Some days it's melancholy when I write a song and I'm like, this is sounding so melancholy. Like I need something uplifting. What I do is I keep going. I add more instrumentation until I come up with a sound that is not quite so wistful or you know whatever. It's not so much of a downer or use a happier sounding chord or something like that so that it, it brings it up a little bit. And if you li listen to some of my songs, I think you can kind of hear that process going on in there. So after I, car I carve away instruments that I don't necessarily like or need throughout the whole thing, because some like flavors in the recipe, you only need a tiny bit. Like you don't need a lot of vanilla extract. You just need a tiny dash of that. And then listen obsessively and see if it sounds right. And you know, it change all of the sound levels, like the, the loudness of each instrument so that it sounds correct. And what I strive to do when I'm doing those sound levels is when if you have in-ear headphones or you know really really good headphones when you listen it should feel like there's a sphere of sound all around you and like it's focused right behind your nose like right between your ears that I feel like if I get the balance right because some instruments are in the background quote unquote just like when I do painting like there are some colors that recede and then there are some colors that advance there are some sounds that advance and those are you know usually higher pitched sounds and things like flutes and um, you know the high percussion and things like that and so the idea again is aesthetic choices is to make this balance that sounds Sounds like it's completely surrounding you so I don't know if you guys have access to really good headphones or to stereo speakers but if you listen in that way you'll get the most out of enjoying it you'll, you'll yeah definitely get the most nutrition out of it so um, I'll show you a little bit of what I've got here I also work with weird samples like I'll play for you let's see if it'll work for me oh well okay it's just playing everything uh, hold on um, you will hear birds in the background, this is actual sample of birds, and then there are bird noises and things like that. So again, I, I'm for, sorry if I'm saying it again. This is not a finished song, this is backstage. And I'm also, I'm doing this as a video that is for patrons where they are ordinarily get to see my little behind the scenes weird things that I share, weird projects that I don't necessarily release to the public. But I'm also gonna put this up on YouTube in order to encourage more people to come and find my music because this is how I'm talking to people now. That if you have enjoyed learning from me in an intellectual analytical sense, as a, in a professorial, professor lasagna sense, um, this is much more how I as an extraterrestrial communicate. You know, not really formally with my shirt buttoned up to here and giving a, a thesis dissertation, um, but much more about grooving with music. And that is definitely one of the, like if you're looking for an energy signature that you can hone in on, like who, who what, what type of being am I and where do I come from? And this is, this is the true me. This is what it's all about. So, um, you know, whatever. I fit myself into the professorial box for many years and now I'm inviting you, like, come groove. That this is really how I communicate. So eat every day I'm making songs in response to the energetic weather. It's the nutrition that I need. And I use these songs for my own energy dance for Flying Rainbow Lasagna. And then when I'm tired, when my body is tired, I do get tired, then I sit, you know, with my legs crossed and wearing my comfy bathrobe and I put on my headphones and I listen again. And I go into like a journey mode and that's what I invite everyone to do. Of course, use it in your own way that you find to be uplifting and comfortable and appropriate, but that is what I do with this music. Right now I'm making stuff that mostly is instrumental as opposed to lyrical, like mostly it does not have flapping of human moving mouth parts and words communicating in that way. But when you listen, I hope that you'll hear, there's a lot of voicing in the instrumentation. There's a lot of talking in the way that I layer instruments and in the way that I introduce the instruments. So, um, and uh, uh, it's, it's um, uh, unstudied, but not random. Like all of the stuff that I'm doing is very intentional in the feelings that I'm trying to evoke and the feeling that it's like bu building, um, uh, a sonic um, landscape that you can exist within. That is what I do for myself. And then I'm like, hey guys, like, come on into my sonic landscape if you want to. It's an invitation, of course. Like none of this is ever mandatory. So let, let, me, let me just play for you. This is an ongoing, untitled, weird project that involves samples of birds in the background and several other synthesizer sounds as well. I haven't even done the recording, but this is kind of like the what you call the crescendo of everything playing all at once. But then again, after I'm done recording that, I'll chip away at it and I'll take out some of it so that's not so much like, ah, like what am, I, what am I even listening to? So that you can hear individual passages and so that then when I do that and there's more space and there's more breathing space and like wiggle room and things like that, then as I listen, then I'm like, well, you know something like this needs a little something extra. Then I might do a solo. Then I might do 
to like a piano or a guitar or something in there that weaves through and fills in the empty spaces and kind of, um, you know, a, a unifying flavor that brings it all together. Um, so yeah, but there's no formula, like I might say a recipe or something like that or an approach, but with this, there's never a formula. It's always very spontaneous and that is part of what I love about this, that, you know, like I'm working on a painting and I work on other projects where it's like, very regular and I know it's predictable. I know what I'm going to be doing over the next several months. Like it's all laid out. I've already done all the sketches and everything. This is very unpredictable. And also if I don't like it, I can just delete it and then start again and do a new project. But usually what I try to do is add more stuff until I like it more. Okay, enough of my flapping moving mouth parts. I will play a little bit of this weird song. And then, oh, oh, oh um, come find me on SoundCloud because I'm just i always adding new songs. I just added three new songs. I'll keep all the links down at the bottom. And yeah, yeah you know, you're invited to become a patron at any level and then you can um, be part of the behind the scenes creative process all the time. Thank you, thank you everyone. Weird music coming up. <laughs> Thank you very much.